Hello, welcome to Peaceful Rebellion from my ayahuasca retreat. I just wanted to talk about something that I was thinking about yesterday. I, I, obviously on these retreats I have a lot of beautiful conversations with people from all over the world, you know, from all over the world. And um, we were talking about uh, therapy and and about what what I do in the therapy and, and I suppose what what I, what I was explaining was that my my job is to give people a big brush for them to sweep sweep the past clean the past up because once the past cleaned up then the present starts to really become something you can you can enjoy but one of the one of the things I'm aware of after all these years of doing therapy is that the first years of our life are so absolutely important and our parents and how our parents treat us is so vital that if they do it wrongly uh, we're buggered okay that's basically it so what I wanted to do is I wanted to share just something and I, I think I've talked about this before but I wanted to share something about being a parent just what I've learned and it's I've learned this through my clients because what children need generally is this it was what I see they need love they need love and especially love from the mum and they need approval and especially approval from the father and what I discover is that when when they don't get that then what happens is children blame themselves and they say if I don't get the love that I need I know I need it therefore I'm not lovable or there's a problem I have a problem with love and then when they don't get the approval they say I am not enough you know and not being enough is a major 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 issue with many many people so what I wanted to share was just some basic advice on how to be a good parent right now I'm not saying that I'm a, I'm a great parent but what I've learned is that the children only need to hear two things from you as parents they only need to hear two things if they hear these genuinely when you say them to the children from the heart they'll be okay right yes they're gonna have trauma yes the shit's gonna happen but this is like like on a bicycle going through life these are the two wheels if you can give them these they've got wheels to travel through life first thing is all you need to do is to tell your children that you love them and if you're the mum especially tell and show tell and show obviously you know words are cheap uh, it's got to be backed up by action but the children need unconditional love when we put conditions on our love uh, with children then that means that it's it's well, it's, it's not unconditional anymore and that isn't as powerful unconditional love is no matter who you are and what you are I'm gonna love you because you're my child and when children get that message when they know that they're they just need to know that they're lovable okay so you know when we make comparisons and we say um, well you know you're a difficult child and and you know, it's very difficult to love you you know and stuff like that I mean you know it sounds a hard thing to say but that wouldn't be the first time that a parent said that to a child you know you're not as lovable as uh, somebody else yeah so love love your children show them love give them hugs give them kisses tell them the 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 wonderful even if uh, they don't want to hear it you know children get embarrassed about those kinds of things but just smother them with love it costs nothing it makes you feel good and it makes the children really really strong for life and the same with approval tell your children that they're good enough tell them give them words like there's nothing that you can't do in this life you can do anything you like in this life and you can be anything that you like because you are good enough you have everything you need I'm proud of you I mean, these words let me tell you how many clients have said all I wanted to hear from my father was that he was proud of me right endless it's endless it's just like this constant stream of people who were screwed up in this life because they never heard that the parents were proud of them Tell your children that they're proud of, you're proud of them. 
not for anything that they've done, for who they are. But pr tell them that you're proud of them. Tell them that they're wonderful. Tell them that they can be anything and do anything. Tell them that you love them. If you do that with your children from the, the very beginning, without making any demands on them, for them to be somebody else. Never ever, and if, you, if you've done it, then just don't do it anymore. Never say to your children, why can't you be like Timmy, who gets all the high scores? Why can't you be like your brother? Right? That what you're telling them is that they are not good enough. That they have to be like somebody else to have your approval. No. So look, in your, look at your children and look for what they have that's special. They don't need to be like anybody else. They haven't come here to be like anybody else. The problem we've got in this life is that most people are trying, striving to be somebody that they're not instead of just being the genuine, authentic person. Everybody comes into this world as a beautiful person. They don't need to be anything else other than what they are. And that's the message that you should be giving to your children. Tell them. Tell them that they're enough that you approve of them, that you love them, okay? So there you are. And and then they'll go and do their mistakes, but at least they'll just be their mistakes, yeah? And they won't be living your mistakes. All right, I love you all. Have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.